Hey, what's up? Michael Nicastro here today, and I'm here with my papa again. We're cooking stir-fried beef with asparagus and celery, a little bit of mushroom too, as well as some steamed egg, like a steamed egg custard, and also some crispy rice. We have a special pan over here, so let's get into it. You already cut it, right? So you defrost it a little bit of warm water now. Cold water, cold water, cold water. Yeah. Okay, how do you chip? Uh, I'll cut in half. Against the grain. Uh, the grain? The grain this way. Uh, the grain? See? see? Long way, go this way. Oh. The, uh, uh, the grain. Yeah, the grain. The this grain, is like uh. a line. Yeah, da wang chip. Uh. Da wang. Not straight. See? I'm using left hand. Uh. Small piece. Uh. Yeah, you a lefty? Yeah, I left it. Small piece. So you see each piece has the grain right there. Yeah, right. Against the grain. This is more tender. Yeah, cut off the fat. Or you put in a bigger bowl, bowl yeah. so it's easier to mix the marinade in. Yeah, they about four tablespoon, one cold water, two, Why? three, four. Make it tender. Oh, okay. Or cold, cold water. Cold water. See, we can mix the one. That makes tender one. I don't know. <laughs> That's what they say. Okay. I try. Okay, now let my hand add some uh, seasoning, right? A teaspoon? One spoon, whatever. Whatever, don't do so much. Dark soy sauce. Teaspoon. A light soy sauce. Teaspoon. Okay. Okay. Oh, yao. Oyster sauce. Yeah, oyster sauce. Two teaspoon. Uh, a bit into bao yu chop. Bao yu chop is abalone sauce. Yeah, abalone sauce is homemade. This is extra. You extra. don't need it. You don't eat. You don't need it. It tastes like oyster sauce, right? Yeah, something like that. And bait in the white pepper. You like white pepper? No, you don't see nothing, you know. Come on, low one, you see And now you bring a tablespoon. One start, about a tablespoon. Now you mix it. Put a little oil, about a teaspoon. Okay, just some corn oil. Yeah, I'm using corn oil. Put the oil on last. Why last? Because... Okay, now we mix and we're going to marinate it for a couple hours. Yeah, I'm using it for tonight. That's the best. That you can marinate overnight too. Yeah. Okay, now we cover it. Put that in the refrigerator. Tonight we're using it, okay? Okay. What are you doing, Papa? Uh, cut... Cut uh, asparagus? Yeah, it's called asparagus. Did you wash it? Cut it, it's not important. It's like this. It's not important. So the tough part. Tough part. It's not very tough. 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 It's not very Two, either one, two, three, four. You don't want to cut it. Alright, so you put on an angle. The tough part, the end. Yeah, come on, pay it. Peel it. Peel it. Come on, lower fan the. Save some. You could eat that too. So the skin is a little bit tough. Don't be here. It's tough. Cut this end out. You don't want to find it, lah. Oh, okay. That's cool. You know? Yeah. See, now go like this. Good. Don't need to make peel. Ah, eat that. Lah. You don't eat that. Lah. Oh, good tip. You see? That's it. Huh? What? Mushroom, la, uh, whatever left there in the refrigerator. What's this? Water chestnut. Water Wait. chestnut, mushroom. Mushroom and chop up the celery. See, you can mix uh, vegetable more. Whatever, you okay. know. Left over. Mix vegetable. La. Okay. Put on the top. Okay. Top so this is going to go on top of the egg. steamed egg. Yeah, right. So we have some. That's a, what type of mushroom? Chinese mushroom. Chinese mushroom? Yeah. So you're gonna cut it. Cut it. No That's one. a dried mushroom? Yeah, dried mushroom. And then you put in some water? I do. I, I soak it in the water. Wow. The dried mushroom we cut. We cut some over here. Already. Already. Right? And we have mixed some, some snap peas we cut. Yeah. And we have some frozen mixed vegetables. Yeah, we... yeah, corn, carrots, peas. Or yeah, you know, whatever we left over on the refrigerator. Chow ya ke lo ke. I have found some uh, water chestnut. That's a Chinese chestnut. vegetable. It has a nice crunch. Yeah, right. It's like heart of palm. You don't have it, you don't have to buy it on. Strips. The, on the top of the. Just throw it in. Throw it in. And I got a little celery there too. Take the young one. Wash it. So you cut the end off. Okay, so how do you cut the celery? I cut it like this, angle. So it's same thing as angle? like that. Yeah. Okay. Like this. And the celery is big, and you cut it in. So you the celery is big like that, you cut it in two. Like that? Yeah. And then you, you know. Oh. See, like this. Whatever the vegetable you have, you could use it. 
Okay, one, two, three. Say the thing, my love. Rinse the rice and then cook the rice. It's boiling. So wait, this pot is special. Special. It's heavy pot. So you're cooking the rice in here. Because rice in here it takes about one hour. One hour. So Let you're using this to cook what type of rice? Kalalano rice rice. This makes crispy rice. Yeah, crispy rice in the bottom. Like after that, I take out the fire and then they put salt and uh, oil under there. Okay. On the edges, it gets crispy. Right, right. So and that's why you're using this. The heavy bowl, the heavy okay. pot. It Put takes... on the low flame, number low. So you cook this low for a half hour. Yeah. All together, one hour. So one hour. Uh huh. Prepare the steamed egg. This yeah. is a secret recipe. No secret. It's a secret <laughs> recipe. Everyone no. likes this this recipe. Okay, now I spread it out. So three eggs. I'm using three eggs today. Okay. See how much. Three eggs. Whisk it. Whisk it until you don't see the white. Here's the boiling water. Let it get cool. So you boil this water and, and then, then you let it, it cool. cool. Yes. Why do you boil it? I use okay. it this way. There's no reason, just do it that way. Well, maybe I, I using the tap water. Uh, There's no reason, just 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 do it that way. Because boiling water, it may come out good. Half of the eggshell, okay? That's half eggshell. Half eggshell. One egg. Or three. Three, yeah. Three today, I go up three because I got a siphon of So water. one egg, three eggshells of water. Yeah. One. One, two, two three. three. So six more. Right. Three. That's one egg, okay? Yeah. One, two, two three. Two eggs. Yeah. One more. One more. One, one two, two three. three. Okay. That's Three eggs, okay? Three eggs. Um, put a little salt, less than a half teaspoon. See, less, less than a half teaspoon. And oil. Corn oil. I'm using uh, about a teaspoon, okay? Now it's ready. Now it's ready so to steam. So you're gonna steam. steam it in this. Right, I steam this just like that. And then once it's steamed, and then we're gonna put... Chow on the these, the stir-fry vegetables. Yeah, stir-fry vegetables. Yeah, stir-fry vegetables. Okay, stir-fry vegetables. Mm -hmm. Okay, stir-fry vegetables. 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 Okay,
add some chicken broth. Vegetables? Yeah, vegetables in. Alright, we're gonna put the vegetables back in. Yeah. The meat kind of let out some moisture. So she's gonna cook this down, concentrate the flavor, and then she's gonna add a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up. A lot of southern Chinese cooking, they have a nice sauce. This is what we do. So now she's adding a little bit of cornstarch. Especially Chinese American food always has cornstarch. So as you can see here, we're gonna mix in some cornstarch. We're gonna thicken it up. So you can see it's getting thicker. Thicker, I add a little bit more. A little bit more. You can start, you can add some. So we're finishing it off with some cilantro, right, Papa? Yes. And again, you can see how thick sauce is getting now. If you want to add a little bit of water or a little bit more chicken sauce, it could be a little bit less thick. Yeah. Again, you take the cornstarch, you mix it in a little bit of warm water, and then you add that to your stir fry. Okay, that's as easy as that, and you can get your desired consistency. Like one teaspoon cornstarch and two teaspoon water. Okay, ready. Yeah. See, it's a nice sauce with asparagus and celery and some mushroom. Yeah, that's it. That's the pull in the we table. already added the soy sauce. We already added oyster sauce to it, so it's already seasoned. All right, put some oil in the pan. So now we're making our vegetable topping for the steamed egg. Steam egg. Yeah. You know how chefs don't like you in your kitchen? That's like my papa. I can't really touch everything on my papa. When you get used to it, then you do it. That's all. <laughs> you know, now you can. Yeah, I can't. I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. All right, so we're gonna add the vegetables in. Yeah. The pan is hot. Add it in. Put a little bit of oyster sauce. To get papa's secret ingredient and everything. If right. you were vegetarian, you could buy a jar with the vegetarian whole yo. They have that. Yeah. They have it. We add oyster sauce to everything, but if you have a shellfish allergy, of course don't use oyster sauce. You can just use soy sauce or a little bit of sesame oil, or they probably have some vegetarian supplements you can just check out at the store, but don't use oyster sauce, not necessary. We're gonna add some cilantro in here. You like cornstarch and everything. I'm sneaking in. Put on top of the egg pepper. Good. More chicken stock. So you just gotta do this by feel. She just knows this. So you're gonna taste it. Eat off. Alright, see how it tastes. Okay. Okay. So again, we're using chicken stock for everything. You can use vegetable stock or just some water. It doesn't have to be chicken stock. So now we're gonna put it on top of the egg. Take a look at this. Here we go on top. So we have our steamed egg custard with some vermicelli noodles. And then we put the sauteed vegetables on top. Again, you can add whatever you have. So this is the rice. The rice in the center is cooked. This bowl is like a Korean style stone pot that they cook the rice in. So on the on the sides, it gets crispy. You'll see she's taking the rice out of the middle. All the rice on the sides is super crisp. That's what you like. I know Spanish people like that too, Dominican. Okay. Everyone likes that. Shut everything off. So this pot is special because first it creates rice, but then all the crispy rice on the sides. Growing up, we would eat it as kind of a snack. And then also, as kind of palate cleanser or a way to digest your meal, we're gonna add some hot water to this and drink like a crispy rice soup. It's hot, you gotta do it quick. Just make a little ball like this. There we go. One. It's a nice little snack. Again, my dad really likes it. Here's our crispy rice. There we go, I'm gonna put it on the table. Okay, just pouring some hot water into here. Let this sit. I hope you enjoyed this great meal that my papa cooked today. Again, we made some sauteed beef with some asparagus, a little bit of mushroom and celery. We made a delicious steamed egg with some mixed vegetables on top. We have some rice that we cooked in our special pan and then some crispy rice. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Again, we're gonna keep pushing out a lot of recipes, a lot of my papa's recipes. Papa, thank you so much for cooking today. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, okay. let's go eat. Okay, bye-bye. Tight right now, grab some rice. 
as we go. And this steamed egg, so take a look at this. Steamed about 15 minutes. There we go, the vermicelli noodles in there. Really nice, healthy dish. Like that. Then I'm gonna add some of this beef, and I like the sauce with the rice. Okay, there we go, time to eat.